Hello and welcome to the Adam Avell YouTube channel where today we have got another Cathedral City product for you, for you and this is new. Our Bubble and Squeak. It's a Cathedral City freezer product from Iceland. A mix of Savoy cabbage, potato, carrots and onions topped with cheddar cheese and crispy breadcrumbs. There it is on the package. There it is in real life. That's actually not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Takes an hour from frozen in the oven. It's so you get the nice crispy breadcrumbs on the top. And because it's frozen, I suppose it's cooked all the way through that way. There's a bit more detail on the back. Cathedral City, our bubble and squeak. A mix of seasoned Savoy cabbage grated potato, diced carrots and diced onions, topped with Cathedral City cheddar cheese sauce, sprinkled with toasted breadcrumbs and Cathedral City cheddar cheese. So this is a 500 gram frozen meal. Is it a meal? I was discussing this with the household earlier whilst it was cooking in the oven because it's I'd say that's a meal for one, and it's a big meal for one. So you could possibly have it as a side for two, with, I don't know, a, a chicken Kiev. I don't know, I don't know what you have bubbling. So could you have it on your fry up? It's a bit cheesy. You don't really have cheese on your fry up. But it could go as a side, or it could go as a meal for one, depending on how greedy you are. And being as I'm greedy, it's all mine tonight for me tea. I'm gonna dig straight in there. Bubble and squeak is usually a side on a breakfast, isn't it? But I know a lot of people on Boxing Day, especially, tend to fry up a lot of their old leftover turkey and potatoes and vegetables from the Christmas dinner and turn it into, oh, my bubble and squeak's amazing. That's what a lot of people do. And have it on Boxing Day, but then fair play. I like bubble and squeak, but this is, did you say it's got Savoy cabbage, it's not, it's not made with leftovers, is it? It's bubble and squeak, I think, traditionally made with leftovers. I can't see this is leftovers. Now that, if it will go and focus, is a lot of onion and cabbage and carrot and potato. But I'm struggling to find the cheese sauce. Oh, it's tasty. But not cheesy. Now on the ingredients, 27% potato, the next ingredient, the second highest, Cathedral City cheddar cheese, 18%. And then 11% for carrots, onion, cabbage. And cream, breadcrumbs, 2%. And there's not a lot of cheese there, considering it's the second highest ingredient. So we've got some more in the middle. There is a bit of cheesy sauce there. Mm. That's nice with that cheese sauce. I'll tell you what else it's got. It's got a nice seasoning to it. It's got a nice background, almost delicate heat of pepper. That is definitely, definitely coming through. I don't know if that's in the ingredients. I don't remember seeing it. There's a lot of ingredients. Full fat soft cheese, olive oil, salt. There we go. Oh, white pepper. There we go, the pepper taste is coming through, but it's adding to it. And this is tasty. It's £3.50, which isn't cheap, but if that is a side for two of you, then it's not too bad. But their Cathedral City range, in their own little freezer in Iceland, none of it's cheap. It's nice, it's, it's like the, the ingredients are all individual. I would just like a little bit more cheese. Now, I don't think that's overcooked. The cheese sauce is there, but that's not evaporated. It's, it just needs more cheese. Considering it's from Cathedral City, who make the world's best cheese, apparently, it's not cheesy enough, but it's a very nice bubble and squeak. Is it bubble and squeak? What did I say earlier? Black pudding. Is that my mind tells me I said black pudding earlier? Black pudding, bubble and squeak. It's not the same, is it? Anyway, it's nice. It's not worth £3.50 as a meal on its own. 
and it needs more cheese. For more videos where we don't know if we've said black pudding instead of bubble and squeak all the way through the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.